Hello everyone and welcome back to Michelle Mould Art. So today I want to share with you this, um, well it's a roll and a pencil case in one that kind of looks over like that. It's actually really quite, um, really quite pretty. Let's just make sure that you can, you can see that. So you can see it kind of rolls round and it's got this bit that unhooks and then when you unravel it if I just move my water a bit further out of the way you can see uh, it's got slots for pencils but then you've also got this pencil case as well and I'm going away uh, at the end of this month just me so um, yeah everyone else will be staying here at home but I'm going down um, south to go and see um, my two brothers and my sister we're all um, meeting up and um, I just want something that's quite compact that I can take with me that gives me some options so I decided to put my luminance pencils Caran d'Ache luminance pencils in here there are a couple of odd ones but they are mostly the luminance um, and I'm going to swatch all of those out in a moment and then in this section I have got my Michael Harding uh, tube colours that I've squeezed into this wonderful little palette. Now I got this palette from Jackson's um, and it actually had paints in it but they were student grade paints. So took that out and I've actually put my own um, half pans and then filled those half pans with some of my Michael Harding paints and then there were these funny little dots here I think they might be for you to um, rest your pen and pencil in so you stick them in but I've put some gold in there and I've squeezed in some Windsor & Newton professional gouache white gouache because I always have to have that but I think it's lovely that it comes with its little um, water container, um, which comes out. Whee. There we go. Um, so you've got a little water container there. You've got a little sponge just there to dot your brush with. You've got a fine liner. You've got a pencil. And you also have a water brush. So, um, you know, it gives you plenty of, plenty of options. Um, so yes, that's, I think it's rather cute. I, I can't remember how much it was. It was something like 12 99 Um, but yeah, it was on the Jackson's, um, website. If I can find it, I will try and put it in the comments below. So, um, that's my little palette that I will be taking with me that goes inside like so and then I also have a selection of fine liners and other pens and things that I will be um, taking with me so um, they can just slot in the bottom there so what I'm going to do is so that I know what I've got here I'm going to swatch it out as my August and September takeaway kit because I'm also I've also got a few days when I'm away in September with my closest friend um, and I can also use this kit if it works out well in at the end of this month I'll be able to use it again in September so let's just move this out of the way and bring in my pad to swatch on I've got some water here um, this jar actually um, had a scented candle in um, but it was it's actually quite pretty so I decided to wash it out and keep it as a, a water jar so we'll just move that out of the way a little bit right so I think maybe we will start with the coloured pencils 
um, and I've already labelled everything up over here um, so there are 24 coloured pencils here and we're starting off with the Naples Ochre which is number 821 and as I said these are the Caran d'Ache Luminance and I just want a little bit of a swatch so that I know what I've got There we go. Raw Umber, 10%, number 842 is next. And then we have Medium Cadmium Yellow, which is 520. Onto our greens, and this one is well, I say greens because although it's olive yellow, it actually looks quite green to me. You can let me know what you think, but there we go olive yellow number 015, and then green ochre number 025. We've got a moss green. I'm hoping I will have enough choice in my greens. As I tend to do mostly landscapes, I really need the, the sort of earthy colours in the green. So dark sap green is 739. And I bought this colour um, because I knew that it was Natasha... Newton's one of her favorite colors if you haven't been to her channel then do go along to Natasha Newton's um, YouTube channel um, she does some lovely swatching and lovely videos uh, light malachite green is 181 And then we have Chrysocola Blue, number 671. I don't think I've spelt that there properly, but we don't mind, as long as I know what it is. Light Cobalt Blue, number 661. There's my wonderful cornflower blue that I love. I actually love these three colours. I have a thing for those. Then we have got Blur de Nimes, number 135. Which has got a bit of a purpley hue to it. And can't do without dark indigo, 639. Yep. We've got burnt sienna, 10%, which is number... Ah. Now, mine has kind of rubbed off here. And I, could, I think it's 86 something, but I can't tell. So, um... I may have to go on the the website and find out what that number is. We've got a violet grey. These are both burnt sienna, 10% violet grey, um, which is number 93. Um, these two colours are both very muted colours. Moving on to Cornelia, number 8. Five zero, lovely for autumn stuff, and then terracotta zero four four. What's this one? We have russet number zero six five. All of these are lovely for 
autumn. And Carmine Lake, which is 575, which is almost a, a brown. It's a very reddy brown. We have Castle Earth, which is number 046. And then the must-have Payne's Greys, 30% um, is the first one, number 504, it's a beautiful grey. And Payne's Grey, 60%, number 507. And then Payne's Grey, 508. So you can see that Payne's Grey getting darker there as we go along. 30%, 60%, and then just Payne's Grey. Now this next pencil is um, a Stabilo All in black. And um, it's um, water soluble. Uh, I, well, actually, is it? We'll test it in a minute. I think it is. Um, but you can use it on paper, glass, plastic and uh, metal. Yes, yes, I've got the little water, um, the brush, and it says aquara, aquarelliable. Oh, I can't say that word. Anyway, that just means water soluble. <laughs> so, um, there we go. And I will wet that one in a minute. Uh, it's always nice to have something that's water soluble, you know, if you just want to do some monochrome work. And then the other odd one out, I suppose you might call it, is the Dermont Drawing Chinese White, because that is, in my opinion, the best white that you can have in your kit. So there we have my selection of... Caran d'Ache Luminance with a couple of extras in there um, and I think that should give me a varied enough um, choice to add to any mixed media that I'm going to do. So I will just bring those up so that you can see them a little bit better. I'm going to try and get myself straight, shall we? There we go. And I'll just move those along a bit and then moving down Ooh, wrong way it's always the opposite way when you have the camera there so you can see some of those there so there we have my choice of Caran d'Ache pencils to take with me when I go away uh, next, I think we will swatch the Michael Harding tubes. And I know I know what colours are Michael Harding's, but I just want a reminder of what I've put in this little takeaway kit, because if it works, I can then use it again. So let's find a brush. Let's get my trusty Van Gogh 8. There we go. Are you going to focus today? Yes, Van Gogh 8 round. And we need a tissue. Let's see. There we go. We've got a tissue here. So let's just swatch these out. If you've seen um, one of my previous videos, then um, you already have seen these. But I just want it as a record. So we've got buff titanium. We've got the ochre e ecle lemon or lemon ochre as I prefer to call it. We have got red ochre. We've got earth 
of Cypress. And we've got sepia. Oh, might need to get a bit more of that. There we go, that's better. Neutral tint. What do we need next? Cosmic blue. Everything green. White scarlet lake. Belladonna. Quinn bronze. And vivid blue. So there we go. Those are the colours that I've got in my little palette here that I'm just going to move out of the way for the moment. Get rid of that brush and water. Because what I want to do next is to just make a note I want to see if they're still yes they are just want to make a note of all these different um, pens that I've decided to take so I'm just going to use them to write to let me know so what is this Uniball Signal 0 0.07 okay so where should we put this There we go, so we have that one. Then we have fine liner graphics, 0.4. I'm just going to put graphics 0.4. What's this one? 0.2. Graphics 0.2. There's another one here which is 0.8. So I've got a 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and the Uniball Signal as well. What else do we have here? We have my Blackwing. Well, we'll just write black wing. I can't remember what one this was, but it's rather lovely. It's got like a travelling road on it. And if you didn't know, with the um, with the black wings, you can move the. She says you can actually move the rubbers up, the erasers up. So, this black wing is quite a soft one by the looks of it. What does it say? Black wing 223. We have got a art graph soft carbon. We will write soft carbon. Another Uniball Signal Signal White. What is this one? I'm trying to see if it says the thickness. Actually, this is probably not going to. Well, it won't show up, will it? Uh, what should we do here? 
shall we use our Payne's Grey. Let's just see if it goes over the top. Not really. Okay, well we can't really. What well, might go over some paint? Mm. Let's think on our feet here. So let's just put down some neutral tint maybe. And when that's dry I'll see if this uniball goes over the top. In the meantime, more uniball signal. This is the silver. And you can see that okay. And this is the gold. Now then... I was going to wet that Stabilo all to see what that looks like. So let's just wet one side of it. Oh yes. So in actual fact, let's just clean my brush. That's very much like the soft carbon. Probably didn't need both of those in my kit really. Um, but we'll leave it at that. I'm going to come back to this paint when it's dry and see if I can get this white Stabilo Signo pen over the top. But the only other thing that I'm going to take with me are 15 of the Neo Colours, Neo Colour 2s. However, I'm not sure that I have the exact ones that are on the front here because I have quite a lot of Neo Colour 2s um, and these are the ones that I've picked out to take with me. So let's just use this and right here, Neo Colour 2. Um, so we've got the Sahara Yellow, which I think will be a little bit like that Naples Ochre if I'm lucky. Yep. We have got, I'm not going to write these names down because they're just in the tin there. I can't really get them confused. So we've got Apricot. This kind of goes quite nicely. We've got Ochre. We have got Russet. Van Dyke Brown. So I can see these looking as though they're going to go quite nicely actually. <coughs> Near my cough. Yellow Green. It's always nice to have a spring green somewhere. Olive. Sepia, dark green, that goes nicely with our perylene green doesn't it, just make sure we're still, yep, then this one, light cobalt blue, oh, so it might be very similar to my cornflower blue that I like. Isn't that lovely? And then this one is turquoise blue. Indigo blue, which is really quite dark. We've got scarlet. So some of these really do fit quite nicely with 
um, the other supplies and then this is called pink or rose pink you can fit that up there the only other one that I bought with me uh, that I've put in there is the white oh that goes over the top of that black there not quite dry but I think that you could you could use that white over there as well how dry is that should we try again yeah considering that, that that's not quite dry I think that that will work so there we have supplies that I'm going to be taking with me let's just pop those back in there shut that down so I will bring this back up so that you can see the watercolors and the neo colors and then some of those pens so here we go with the watercolors So I'm going to look at the Neo Colour 2s, so they're these ones going down in the middle there. And then we've got the different writing tools, pencils, etc. So all in all, I'm quite happy with that selection I think that's going to give me enough options to use for little weekend type trips really um, so yeah um, I think what I'll do because this video looks like it's getting quite long I don't want to make too long a videos I'm going to do a picture using these materials um, but I will do that separately so um, and I'm going to pick a photograph that uh, I have on my computer from when I went um, to one of the large garden centres um, and um, National Trust type place I can't remember what it was now I will remember when I do part two I will tell you where it is um, but it's my own photo and I'm going to use that as my inspiration and pretend that if I was sat there um, how would it go using these materials would it would it work so it's a little bit of a test in part two anyway I feel like I'm rambling a little bit so um, Hope you enjoyed seeing uh, some of the equipment that I'm going to take away. And uh, oh, and by the way, the um, I don't think I mentioned this. I just got from Amazon, and the make is Coco Note. So there you go. I think they had other designs, not just this one. The Wave. They had others, but um. Okay then, I will see you hopefully in part two. Thanks for watching.